this episode of MoCap TV, cadets train on DF navigation. A look at CAP's new strategic plan. And cadets learn about excellence from a Navy SEAL. These stories and more. MoCap TV starts now. All right, everybody, I need to go, no go for MoCap TV news broadcast. Audio. Go audio. Seven. Video. Check. Six. Live stream. No worries, mate. Five. Anchor check. Four. Where's our anchor? <laughs> Three. Two. You're watching the MoCap TV News Network. One. Hello, and welcome to MoCap TV, a video news magazine for the members of Missouri Wing. I'm your host, Lieutenant Colonel Brad Sanker. Every day, we strive to follow the core values of CAP and to serve our communities the best we can. Striving for excellence plays an important role in our mission and in the development of our cadets. Recently, members of St. Louis Composite Squadron received a lesson on setting goals and achieving excellence in all they do. Grant McLean served as a Navy SEAL and was a member of the SEAL Team 5. As part of this elite team, he knows all too well the importance of achieving excellence. St. Louis One members invited Grant to provide instruction on achieving excellence in personal goals for character development training. Here is part of that message. And Civil Air Patrol values show that excellence is an individual or a unit going above and beyond what is expected of them. And just the fact that you're part of the Civil Air Patrol speaks magnitudes of your character. Excellence is an absolute mission success. Zero failure, no room for mediocrity, bottom line. It's something that is achieved not given. It's a paramount commitment to not only yourself, your mission, and the unit. It's chosen. It's not a sign. And I'm going to build on this point because you're going to start carving out habits when you put everything you have into everything you do it's extremely important because excellence is a signature of yourself. There are seven billion people in this world, and how are you going to stand out among them? Is by grabbing excellence, putting it in your pocket, and hanging on to it for dear life. Your habits are going to carve out your character. Within your character arises your reputation, and that's what people will think of you. Excellence is needed. It requires long hours. It requires attention to detail. Does anybody know what the difference between a goal is and excellence? Goals are just a dream. Everybody knows, oh yeah, I got goals to do this, this. How many people really achieve them? Excellence is saying, I'm going to take my goal and I'm going to write it until I get what I want out of it. I'm going to make it work for me. I'm going to achieve it at everything I can. If you know what it takes to achieve your goal before you even start, and you've got a great vision of what it will be like to achieve it, but how you're going to do it, your plan of attack is solid, the chances of you failing are minimal. And it will be you standing on the podium during an Olympic ceremony getting your gold medal. Or it will be you getting the Spots Award or the Mitchell Award, whatever it is. Every day, I want you to do something. Something. Do not let the sun set on a wasted day, because that is ridiculous. We do not have many days given in our short lives as it is. Every day, 
do something. It doesn't matter how big, it doesn't matter how small. Do something. Do one step at a time to get closer to achieving your goal. And what I want you to realize, when you embark on becoming whatever it is you want to be, an astronaut, a doctor, an Olympic gold medalist, whatever, get in the spots award, just the undertaking of that task in and of itself is monumental. And it is going to have difficulties already woven into the fibers of the price you will have to pay to achieve that goal. Don't quit. The only person responsible for your goal being achieved is you. Nobody else. This is my pursuit of excellence. This little 0.25 ounce pewter gold plated pin. This is what I was charismatic about when I was your age. This is my pursuit of excellence. I want you to pass this around. And if I don't get it back, I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to read off some numbers that I calculated what I would have done to achieve that little tiny pin. Just for that, I did 380,000 push-ups. I ran 2,188 miles. I did 39,000 pull-ups, over half a million sit-ups, and I swam 1,480 miles for that. You guys are in the Civil Air Patrol. Excellence is your aircraft. How well it flies. How well it handles a mission. How, how well it's mission capable is up to you. Are you ready to fly? Grant enlisted in the Navy in 2001 and served as a Navy SEAL, deploying to multiple theaters of operation. He left the service in 2009. Thank you to St. Louis One for opening this event up to neighboring units. Now here's a look at some pictures from around the wing. Cadets from Platte Valley Composite Squadron stand ready for orientation flights to the downtown Kansas City Airport. Cadets Austin and Clayton Smith from Central Missouri Composite Squadron received the Billy Mitchell Award from Representative Tim Ramoli of Missouri's 6th District. Cadet Master Sergeant Lucid talks to a prospective member at an open house for the Fort Leonard Wood Composite Squadron. Cadet Gabriel Gage from Winsville Composite Squadron is at the controls during an orientation flight. That's what's going on around the way. If you have photos that you would like to share, you can send them to mocaptv at mowg.cap.gov or share them on our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash mocaptv. You might just see them here on Around the Wing. Members of Fort Leonard Wood Composite Squadron participated in emergency services training over the weekend, completing exercises in electronic direction finding and other ground skills. Five members also completed requirements for ICUT, the basic communication skills required for CAP. A comment on their Facebook page reads, Today we accomplished quite a lot, from compass use to ICUT. It was a good day, dotted here and there with some misadventures, all in all, a good experience. Planning for this year's encampment is well underway. Dates have been set for 14 through 20 July at Camp Crowder in Neosha, Missouri. Applications are being accepted for staff through the 15th of March. You can stay up to date on the 2013 encampment Facebook page. Links to the page are on the WING website and on the WING Facebook page. 
Civil Air Patrol fully implemented its new governance structure at the beginning of the year and is rolling into Phase 2 with the implementation of the organization's strategic plan for 2013 through 2014. This two-year plan developed as a joint project with input from the Board of Governors, the U.S. Air Force, and CAP follows a methodology used by corporations worldwide analyzing strengths and weaknesses and using that information to drive the development of goals and objectives. The plan places emphasis on six goals funding, resources, skills and youth development, public awareness, aerospace education, and institutional excellence. Air Force Colonel Paul Gloyd Cap USAF Commander said the plan puts CAP in line with the way major corporations do business and ensures we are able to hold people accountable. It also helps ensure progress for the organization and positions CAP to compete in today's global economy. You can read more about the plan at www.capvolunteernow.com. As the Chief of Staff for Missouri Wing, I'd like to welcome our two newest members to Wing staff. Major Rebecca Sanker will be taking over the reins of professional development. She brings years of experience to CAP as both an educator and a volunteer in Civil Air Patrol and the Boy Scouts. Captain Mike Cooper has his pen and paper and camera ready as he takes over as the Wing Public Affairs Officer. Please be sure to offer a warm welcome to both of these new Wing staff members. I'd also like to say a special thank you to Lieutenant Colonel David Miller as he leaves both positions to take over a more active role as the commander of the Spirit of St. Louis Composite Squadron. Thank you, David, for all your outstanding service throughout the years. You have truly met the Wing's motto of Show Me Excellence. Finally tonight, we close with a collection of photographs provided by Lieutenant Colonel Larry Cuban. These photos are collected from the first 50 years of Civil Air Patrol and spotlight our heritage in Missouri Wing. Thank you for joining us. For MoCap TV, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Brad Sanker. Thank you. 